Hey guys, welcome back to Poetica. Last episode we set up the, um, or oh, we got some cobaltite and tried to make a hammer and you can already see it in my inventory. I do have it now. Uh, so all the uh, cobaltite we mined up, I, I melted down. Not all of it is a little bit left over and there's some still in here now. One block and three nuggets. But yeah, I, I was able to make the cobalt hammer and it is pretty good. It works really well. And I can actually show you on something that's really silly. You know, we traveled all the way over here to get cobaltite. Somehow I forgot that there are samples over here. <laughs> right next to our house. And you know what's even worse about this? So I did try to find this, right? It's a ladder all the way down. Let's go check it out. Into the cave system. It's rich. <laughs> Chicken? Why didn't you tell me about this, huh? You've been here down here the whole time for some reason. I don't know how. Maybe a baby zombie? Did they spawn? Didn't tell me about it. But yeah, it works pretty well. I've been actually mining some uh, charcoal. Ooh. Still hurts, of course. It's still dangerous. I've been mining some charcoal. Oh, not charcoal. Sorry. Coal with the hammer. That's why it has some durability gone down. It has like 2,000 durability, and I think we can repair it with um, cobaltite or cobalt uh, ingots. Should probably check that out actually, just in case, or just to make sure that it works. But yeah, it's pretty good, you know. It's um, it still causes collapses, as you saw, so it's not like super duper cheaty, and it's also not the fastest thing in the world. I mean, it's still slow, but like it does, of course, nine by nine, right? So, oh, it's three by three. I mean, so nine blocks at the same time. So that is quite. Quite a bit faster than just the pickaxe, but it's so much more convenient to mine. And, you know, I don't even feel like using... I don't feel like using the EFLN at all, because it's still kind of fun to do it then. But, um, yeah, just been, like, kind of going back down here where the coal is. Uh, is that the coal? Yeah. And just mining this all up. A little bit dangerous over there still. But yeah, today I'm not quite sure what I want to do next. There's a couple of things I should do though. Yeah, we can repair this. Awesome. So I'm gonna just leave this for now. And this is, by the way, not from Terra Firmacraft. Uh, you guys let me know that this is actually from the TFC Metallum mod. Even though it says Terra Firmacraft. So there's like a couple of metals that are not actually from, from Terra Firmacraft. So that's good to know. But yeah, we got, we got some coal. There's still so much more, but I needed more for my stuff over here so I can make... Um, more quick lime so I can craft more refactory bricks and so on. Stuff like that. In the meantime, also, I did grind up a lot of the graphite we had. So, all stuck in here. I think there's even... Uh, there's some in here still, but I think it processed it all. Put down a couple of hoppers here and such to uh, to do this. Works pretty well. And speaking of hoppers, I... You know, we have our donkey, so I wanted to get a new uh, chest. But you need a vanilla chest to do this, and the vanilla, uh, vanilla chest we get from the um, the roguelike dungeon, so I did go back into the roguelike dungeon and just kind of like look around in some of the rooms we had already explored, right? And there's actually like, there's like, um, there were like a couple of hoppers still that I grabbed, there was also, I don't actually know which chest I put that in, uh, maybe down here, yeah, there's like furnaces, now these are not super duper useful, but technically what we could do is smell the iron wood itself in here to get charcoal, because uh, this is really a useless log. I've been actually using it to make charcoal with the refractory stuff. I think actually the re refractory stuff is more efficient though because you get 10 uh, charcoal out of 9 logs. So, you know, that's something to use. But then there's also the stuff for like the the bricks from Pyrotech you could make in here and so on. So I don't know if we'll really be using this because normally you're not supposed to have a furnace. But I figured we'll just have it in here. And the other thing is you can actually find crafting tablets down there. So these I could sh throw into the smeltery to get the iron bucket. But of course I'm not going to do this because, you know, the roguelike isn't even part of this pack. That's just something I added. But I thought it was kind of funny just, you know, being able to find uh, crafting tables in there and then getting stuff out of it. Um, I've also been just like collecting more food and I made the mistake again of making a lot of sandwiches. They really don't last long, only till July this year. So it's really not, I, I need to stop turning this stuff into sandwiches. I think it actually lasts way longer if you don't do that. Um, so yeah, that's a mistake. And I did get more vinegar cause I found some cherry trees while I was just exploring and just grabbed a bunch of cherries and put them in there. And we do actually, that's how I make my sandwiches too. They should be all over here in uh, this thing here. 
Yeah, so there's a couple of cherries. So these these are the ones I use to make the sandwiches. Although actually the cherries expire July 7th. Ah, so that's probably what it is, right? It picks the thing that expires the, the soonest and gives it that sandwich. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I should stop using fruits in my sandwiches and have it in something else. Oh, lots of stuff has grown too. You can see these are all grown tomatoes. But I don't want to harvest them yet again because I don't know if that's gonna... It's just gonna waste it, right? I think as long as the... As long as it's warm enough, you can actually see that at the top there if I look at the ground. It's 27 degrees right now. As long as it's warm enough, I think we should be fine. Uh, the other thing is I did get another sheep. We have, what is it, a female sheep. And I got a stallion. Not familiarized yet, but that way we can hopefully make uh, mules. Because we have a male and female donkey here. But yeah, let's go over to the west. I need to go back to the ocean to get a bunch of salt water. Uh, one I need for uh, or one barrel. Do I have multiple barrels? I only have one on me actually. Uh, maybe I should grab another barrel. I need one to make brine. We have to put the vinegar into salt water to make brine. And the other one I need for. Uh, I guess I can take this one. Uh, for the um that liquid we use to to burn down uh, ores in the smeltery. And I've been I've been doing a bit of a drip there too. I had. Uh, put the, you know, like 64 graphite into one barrel, but uh, that just like converts all the uh, salt water that's in there, right? And there was like 10 buckets of salt water in there. So I only got 640 millibuckets out of, out of that. So I need to like make sure I put this into a different barrel first before I convert it. But yeah, I'm going to head over to the ocean, get some water and we'll see what else we do today. All right, back again. Luckily, you know, the donkey's not the fastest, but it does help, especially when you can put several barrels or something into it because you can't carry more than one without getting the overburdened effect. So that kind of helps quite a bit. I also want to replace this with a vessel, so I don't always have to pick it up if I need to grab stuff out of it. Um, but let's go ahead and put these here. And this time, so let's make sure here, actually. So vinegar or brine, it's... Oh, come on, game. It's like... 9,000 to 1,000 makes 10,000 brine. So that's a really good ratio, actually. I was uh, worried a little bit that that would take quite a lot. But this is also ideal because if we take out the bucket from here... And let's go get the vinegar. Uh, no, it's not how you do it. Ah. Oh, it's instantly. Well, that's even better. Very cool. Okay. But the cool thing is now that, you know, we have one bucket in here... Uh, so that's, that's like, good enough for, like, putting 64 of these graphite things in there, right? So we can have 640 of that weird liquid again. It's a little bit of waste, but, you know, it's 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 okay. <laughs> it's fine. But that's awesome. I didn't know it was that quick. That's really cool. Um, in that case, do we have a piece of vinegar? Uh, fresh water. I'm gonna take you. This is my leather making stuff here, which I don't currently need. I'll put you here, so I'll take, let's grab, um, oh, let's actually look this up, Brian. So you need 125 for one, and it takes four hours. And you can do this with fruits too, so that way I guess, so it might be a good idea to do that with your fruits first, uh, and then afterwards make sandwiches out of it, right? I think that would make the most sense. Uh, now I can probably do quite a lot at the same time if I just, because it shouldn't take up the brine if it's, there's too many items in there, right? But I do want to have two different ones because I want to check this out. So let's grab our cherries, which are uh, expiring on the 7th of July. I probably should do it with fresh stuff, but this is a bit of experimentation. And there's actually two two things I want to try out. So um, let's see, we have 2,000. So we can put 16 in there for all of that. Seal, yeah, it's brining it. July 4th is currently says because it's outside. Um, but the other thing I wanted to see is like, what happens if we use the vinegar first, right? Because we can do that too. It gives the it gives it the uh, pickled thing and then brine it because it looks actually like you could do both because these currently have both on there. You can see below the fruit it says brined and pickled. So I'm kind of curious about that too. So let's just go ahead and do eight maybe and seal this. Oh, that doesn't work. There should be enough vinegar. Ah, so maybe you have to brine them first. Hold on a second. Is that why that's telling me it? That's it. Yeah, you can see this one is brined. Ah, okay. 
So, so yeah, you can do both. You actually, I guess, encouraged to do both in that case. Grind. So you can do this with me too. Oh, very cool. Okay, then we should do this. Um, I guess I can do it in here for now too. That shouldn't take it up. Cool. Gonna be curious about this. I need to learn more about food. And also this, this iron flask has been amazing. I don't know what the limitation is, like how many drinks you can take get out of it. I wonder if, I think it's a little white line. It's like slowly going down. I'm actually gonna wait, I don't, I think, and and just see if it's if it's gonna go down or not. Um and just gonna see what happens. But yeah, this this thing is this is amazing. I'm so glad we have this now. Uh, there's my old sandwiches. Like I said, they're expiring soon. Okay, but let's think about what we should do. There is a couple of things we can do. Um, one thing I really would like to get is redstone. I have no idea where we can find redstone. I know I looked up on the wiki. It can spawn in a shale at the top level. And then there's a couple of other stones where it's like in any level. Like andesite is one of them. We have andesite nearby. I think the stuff over here is andesite, I think to the west here. So we might have to look around, but it's it can spawn on every level, so the, the um, Prospector pick might not find it. Oh, and speaking of the Prospector pick, so in this version, in 1.12, the Prospecting works a little, little bit different. You can see I have it up till here now, so like, I don't know, like a fifth or something missing. You actually have to right click the ores now. You don't, like scanning for ores, looking for ores, doesn't uh, level it up, so I already have done that, so it doesn't go up here currently. Um, and it has to be like, you have to like have 192 blocks in between ores you found. So I don't know if there's another ore in here, but if there was like another copper vein or something, it wouldn't it wouldn't count because it's too close to this one that I scanned. So that's kind of how that works. So I've been, like, I think I scanned actually this one here. Yeah, I scanned this one. And that increased my level, and that's why I don't get something from the uh, Cobaltite. So that's kind of how it works. It doesn't, you, you don't have to like, you can't just like sit there and right click stuff. You actually have to, um, you know, like scan for stuff. You actually have to go find veins that they have to be spaced apart enough for it to count. But yeah, so the uh, looking for Cobalt or Cinnabar might be, might be a good thing. It's not super exciting on a video, so I'll probably be cutting a lot of that. But the other thing we should do at some point is just go down, like I mentioned, to the to the jungle and kind of scout it out a bit more and maybe find a good spot to live at. Um, I don't know if this is salt water here, but there's also a little pond there that we can drink from. And yeah, just kind of like build our second base down there because that's where I really want to be and I want to know if the crops can grow down there. Um, so I think what I'm going to be doing now, actually after I feed my animals, is just walk around a bit and see if I can find some shale. Oh, I also got new cows actually. I got two female cows though, unfortunately, but I'll just feed them anyway, just in case. You don't need anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look around, I guess. You're not... Can I actually... Um, they changed how you... How you... How you... Uh, write animals now, or uh, familiarize them now. Uh, is it a harness? No. Oh, wait, no. But this, this isn't an updated version, so that wouldn't matter but in the newer version you have to do it like slightly different than this method oh yeah we can do it oh maybe the horse will be good oh we did it somehow i didn't see any hearts i was like why isn't that horse moving anymore uh, apparently it was done cool we got our horse i don't know how fast he'll be but we'll find out and hopefully he's also a good jumper oh yeah oh that's so much better than a mule i like it yes i mean the donkey we do want to get a mule, and actually we should check. I don't think they are. I don't think they're like happy enough yet, are they? No, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know if the, I think that might have to be familiarized first. No idea. But cool. So I'm gonna use my horse, and yeah, I think there was shale somewhere. I just don't remember where, and I don't remember what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go. Maybe I explore like this side a little bit because I think this is andesite too. I'm just gonna look around a bit. There's zombies on the surface here. I wonder if these are like old zombies that loaded a long time ago and then the chunks got unloaded and now they're still here or something. Although there's a roguelike too, maybe there's a spawner. It's kind of weird. I also saw some spiders before because this is the, the lake Scoopaloo, so, you know, could be like old enemies that spawned here. Oh, and speaking of fighting, I did turn off that option where I can't hit uh, enemies if they... What is this? That was a big white cedar. 
if my weapon isn't like fully charged because it just was annoying man <laughs> but the other options that mod offers are actually really cool like um for example you can oh game come on you can as soon as you right click with your shield it counts as blocked i think that's something that bothered me in vanilla also that it always takes like a good like one or two seconds after holding up your shield where it actually counts as being up so that's kind of neat all right, so I've been uh, exploring for like 40 minutes or so. I haven't found the type of uh, stone I want. I was also kind of checking if there could be some saltpeter somewhere, because that would be nice too. But yeah, unfortunately not. Um, I did kind of go, you know, I went kind of like over here and then up here and over here and all the way back down, kind of exploring down here a little bit too, down here a little bit. Uh, I think I need to go... Um, Maybe more sideways. I think maybe that would work better to find new stone types. Uh, thanks to Mito, I think that's how you say the username. I now know that, uh, you know, like uh, the rock types apparently don't depend on the temperature. So it shouldn't, shouldn't really matter like how high up or down I am. It should just matter like how, you know, what, what, what kind of, well, rock type you're in. So just really anything. I also keep finding like bird eggs and stuff i actually found a couple in uh before when i was doing some exploration there's also this unidentified egg parrot egg look at all these wolves meat <laughs> that's when i was looking for animals i just made sure i murder all the wolves that i came across they were all old wolves too i believe but yeah some of them were seemed to be a bit aggressive so i uh killed them but yeah, i haven't found what i need so i think instead of um trying to find the rock type the other rock type that can have it is uh, andesite, right? And we do, this is andesite, I just confirmed, just checked. So I think I'm actually going to go caving a little bit. This might be dangerous, but also maybe really fun. I do have some torches, but um, do I actually? Let's double check. Yeah, I do have some extra ones in here. They aren't, uh, you know, like the stone torches, so they will extinguish eventually. But I think that's okay, because I just want to see if I can find, yeah, see this is andesite. See if I can find some of the cinema. And I think I'll just go into the cave and just kind of follow the cave uh, walls or tunnels and just like right click once in a while to see if I can find anything. And who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find stuff. And there should be. Where is it? Is it on this side? Yeah, there's a copper. The copper mine entrance. This is the dangerous one where like. I didn't light it up properly before. And there, there's like so many little nooks and crannies where stuff can spawn it's uh it's a bit dangerous but you know there's also good stuff here so yeah i'm i'm gonna go look around i'm probably maybe i should not bring my backpack sometimes so i can wear like armor and stuff that might be a bit more helpful but let's just get some of these things here get ready and i'll do some exploration i'll probably do it also if uh you know just off camera because i don't think it's going to be super interesting but i'll keep recording in case i do find something fun Oh god, oh god, a zombie, a baby zombie <laughs> with iron armor and iron weapons. And I can't hit that guy. Oh, come on now. Oh, two? Why? Why would you have, why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? Okay, we got one of them at least. Oh, these guys have armor, which is good. I mean, we can get it. Oh, someone else behind me. Oh, this is, um... There we go, got him. Man, can't hit him at all. This is something. And that resists your knockback sometimes too, so it's a little dangerous. Wait, what did he drop? The heck is that? It looks like a gift or like a cooler or something. <laughs> what is that? Are we good here? Look at these caves, they kind of look cool. Ooh, mysterious. Um, oh, a drum kit. That's right, these dudes have instruments. Yeah, they brought another iron chest. I wanna actually... I never tried this. Can you combine... Armor sets and stuff in this? No. Maybe it was the anvil, but that's a vanilla anvil, so that probably... Isn't supposed to happen. Oh boy, here we go. Doesn't help that we can't see anything in this. Uh oh, 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 trouble, trouble. This guy. This guy needs to go. I don't have a maze, so I don't do a lot of damage against skeletons. Maybe I should make one when I go explore. Whew. 
Jesus. <laughs> I almost wonder if it's better to like just run through here. What is this? Cassette right. Okay. Um, and actually, I think we have that marked, right? Yep. Hi. Uh, just run through here and light it all up because my goodness. There's a lot of mobs in here. Oh yeah, let's right click this too to get our little stuff up here. Nice. I do wonder if there's anything we can do about like life region, because life region is really bad in you know terraforming craft. You don't have much of it, so I don't know if there's any way we can increase this. Kimber light? Oh wait a minute. Isn't that diamonds? That's diamonds, right? So Oh. Hi. Well that's behaving really weird. The quiver thing. Let's take them out of there. Oops. Not that. We're gonna have to find that Kimberlite, because that is definitely something we should probably... Well, I don't actually know. I don't know if we need diamonds for anything, but still, I want to find it now. Oh, wow. This opens up quite a bit. Oof, that goes down so fast, though. There's, like, magma blocks? That's interesting. Large sample of Kimberlite. It might be exposed somewhere. Oh, is that it? <gasps> That's it. Yeah, it's going up. Yes, it's diamonds. <laughs> we found diamonds. Let's put a marker here. Nice. Man, this looks insane. I like it. I haven't really been caving in Terraformer Craft yet, so this is cool. It needs a little bit more decorative stuff, uh, decorative stuff, but, um, you know, you can do that with some mods, probably. Uh, it's gonna be tricky. There's something below us, too. I think that might just be more Kimberlite, though. Yeah, okay, let's use the water to our advantage, because they can't really fight it. Yeah, it's a Kimberlite. Ooh. Garnerite, or Garnerite, or whatever. Oh, hi. To the water. Yeah, it works pretty well. Thank you. So nice of those creepers. Oh, this might be bad. Stay back. At some point, we need to, like, somehow create a... Uh... Oh, wait. What? Oh, there's a different rock type. Oh, yeah. I need to make sure I stay in Andesite, I guess. Gabro, I think Darside. Hold on, yeah, that's also a rock that um, can have cinnabar. So this one is fine. Ganierite. Okay. What was I going to say? Yeah, I, I want to set up like a, a gunpowder farm so we can use powder kegs. Oof. Should have jumped into this. Found more cobalt. And I'm actually out of torches. Shoot. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Okay. That's a bit of... Oh, hi. <laughs> that's a bit unfortunate. Gotcha. Ah, shoot. Okay. Well, I didn't find any... What's this? Looks darker. I didn't find any other stuff. Uh... Can we do something with the glowstone? Oh, yeah, the glowstone could glow. I could be a bit risky and do this. That's from the dynamic dynamic lighting, so that's why that works. Uh, there's something down here. What is this? The heck is olivine? And I'm not even being... I'm not even able to, like, discover this, apparently. What? What is this? Hear you. It looks like emeralds, but there's no use for this, so I don't know what this is. I'll. <gasps> it's lava. I'll hang on to it, I guess. Oh, we have glowy mushrooms in here, too. <gasps> Found some sulfur. Ooh. Hey, that's not being picked up by the. Wait, is it because I have the glowstone in my hand? No, it doesn't pick up the stuff sometimes. Sulfur, that's how we can make gunpowder, guys. Right? Uh, somehow, I thought. 
Oh, ugh, I keep forgetting, man. This is an outdated version. Oops, so we don't even have powder kegs. That's right. So, but like, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, in this one we get it like this too. But there's a low chance. But um, in in the newer version, that's how you can make gunpowder with a couple of other things. I don't know. Remember? I don't remember what you need though. But uh, yeah, it's definitely something we should hang on to then. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, there it is, cinnabar. We found traces of it. Okay, that's a good sign. Traces. Oh, I hope it's going to be exposed like right here somewhere. That would be amazing. Oh, no, that's not it. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't know where it is. Oh, medium samples. We're getting there. We're getting there. Traces. Oh, too far. <gasps> is that it? Yes! That looks like redstone. That looks like redstone in the most safe spot you could ever find <laughs> we found it the quest for for cinnabar yay look at this terrible place that's a good screenshot awesome well i my inventory is full um well i can empty some things but we don't need this money but yeah i'll be spending some time and try to get some of this at least why do i even have two shears on me so weird Actually, I think what I could do is go down here and then place scaffolding. Yeah, which raises this water a little bit. Because what about magma blocks? They probably don't have gravity, do they? Oh. They have gravity? No. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was close. That was too close. I just almost died because I jumped into lava. Oh, my goodness. Oh. My goodness. Let's eat some sandwiches. There we go. That's a little better. So many noises. One hit and I'm dead. Okay, I'm just gonna block this off for now and like get some of this and then get out of here. Alright, so I have five six stacks of uh, cinnabar and each one of them gives us uh and this one only eight and this one eight and this one will give us ten so maybe we should actually get into better with mods a little bit at least get that auto set up uh that the mill set up that might be kind of good but there's so much more here of course so um you know we we'll get more but i mean that's pretty good even eight right that's like like those are two stacks of uh cinema i believe or redstone so that's quite a bit of redstone for now and i could actually i might actually get more i think i have more yeah i have like plenty of room in here so i could just go get more stuff too but i think i do want to kind of go back at this point uh now nah, i'm gonna grab a couple more oh god oh god oh jesus that was loud and scary holy crap Holy crap. Caves in a... Creepy. How I'm not dead yet is, like, beyond me. <laughs> it really is. No. Okay. I think it should be enough now. I got another six stack here. So, yeah. I think I'm good. The only problem now... I mean, there's more. I'll get more eventually. But the only problem now, of course, is to get out of here. And I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Uh, I... Okay, it's a baby zombie. That's not a good sign. Thanks, creeper. Oh, new instrument. Uh, don't need that. Nice. Oh. No, baby. No, no, no. Can't hit these guys. Oh, my goodness. They are nasty. Well, at least we got back home quick. I suppose, but man, they are brutal. I can't hit them for, <laughs> for the life of me. Oh, well, it's okay. I'm kind of glad I'm back. All right, yeah, so we have Kimberlite. Let's just double check here. Um, if we do it in this millstone, we get a proper diamond. If we do it in here, we get flawed diamond. And in this one, we also get a proper diamond. So we do want to do it manually or in the better with mod stone, uh, What's it called? Millstone. But what do we do? We can make the jupe. Oh, you can actually... I think that got disabled, though. 
I'm pretty sure in the new version you cannot make the enchanting table anymore, which is a bit sad. Um, otherwise, reds. Oh, a comparator requires diamonds. Ouch, that's nasty. <laughs> we can make a chisel. Uh, fishing rod. I don't know if that's useful here. Can make prismarine with diamonds. That's kind of interesting. And of course, the other chisel too. And then, oh yeah, there's like these better with uh, better storage two things. But I think they're pretty bugged, so I don't think I want to use them. So that's something we should uh, maybe avoid. And, you know, it's, it bypasses a lot of the storage here too. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to grind down some of this at least. At least a little bit here in this thing. And then see what we get. Oh, and actually, I was going to bring my donkey over there. But before we do, I need to feed these guys. I totally forgot. So I'll take off the redstone here. Ah, uh, yeah, he... He lost his um, familiarity again because I've been gone for so long without feeding. That's a bit, un bit of a shame. All right, so he is going to grind down that cinnabar for us. And then also we had more in here. Just going to make sure I put this away. Oh, it's too full. That doesn't go in there. Let's check out this organ. Yeah, this thing is awesome. You can actually play some music here. Oh, I don't think they have that song. They used to be... Maybe it needs to be a different instrument, but there used to be a song in here, the, um, oh, what is it called? Something Green Hill? No, not Green Hill, that's Sonic. Green something. Uh, it's like a game, it's like a song that came, uh, that was in Anno 1602 as well. It's like a, you know, it's like a, um, classic song, I believe. We can do the canon in D. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> enough music. We also have a drum kit. What does that sound like in in the it was the drum kit? <laughs> that doesn't sound anything like it. Okay, whatever. Let's uh let's stop this nonsense. Hey donkey, is my redstone done? Nope, because there's no room. But there it is, look at that redstone! Yes! Precious, precious redstone i forgot exactly what i wanted to do with that but there's one thing i do know and that is the where's it fire starter this guy or stone igniter so we can make this i did get some iron bars from the roguelike dungeons as well so we don't actually have to craft these but you know if we i don't even know, know where i put them uh but if we didn't have them we could they might actually be in my backpack still um we could where's my backpack we could just make them with iron sheets, but yeah, there they are. So yeah, we can make that, but I'll, I'll do this another time. We have some redstone now. You know, we can use it for some automation. We could get into powered rail stuff. That'd be fun. Redstone latch if we need this for anything, but yeah, awesome. I'm glad we found redstone. That's just something I really wanted to check out and try in Terra Permacraft. And we found a decent vein there. It's a little bit dangerous, but you know, it's fine. And we found a bunch of Kimberlite as well but i think i'm gonna have to call the episode here for today i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye bye